Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a collective data reading session for you Scorpio. This is for this week. What is the love intuitive message for Scorpio collective reading for all the Scorpio friends out there? So sorry guys, if I was so busy in the last two to three weeks that I wasn't able to upload reading in this channel. Sorry about that. Um, I've decided to do a collective reading for all signs. So it's um, it's going to include a timestamp. So the way we will be looking at the reading at the message or the way I will deliver deliver the message and the reading is that I will start with the earth sign and then the air. Sorry, I will start. I will start first with the earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo and then I will start with um the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then I will start with the water sign. Next is the um, air sign, okay? So, again, similar mechanics, okay? This is Scorpio dealing with a specific um, sign. This is applicable in Sun, Moon, and Venus. Um, look at the timestamp below. So, if you're dealing with a Scorpio for... If you are a Scorpio dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you are the first reading. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What is the message? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What is the message, please? Okay. If you're dealing with an Earth sign, Five of Pentacles, the Hermit card, the Two of Wands. Um, They will return. Okay. They will return. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun and Moon and Venus, they will return, Scorpio. But they needed more time, okay? Because two of ones, they don't have, they don't know when, but um, they're sitting in the hermit energy, most specifically if you're dealing with a Virgo. But this is your person. They're looking at returning. They don't know when, but they will return. They have an energy of returning, reconnecting, calling you back, texting you back, or a sense of, a sense of five of pentacles they can't just disappear all right so if you're dealing with an earth sign capricorn doros or virgo um in this year there's they are scheduled to return okay the next reading is that if you are dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius scorpio is dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius what is the message, please? Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's oh two of cups, two of swords, the sun card. They are not happy that you break up or separated or you're not talking right now. Okay, two of cups. They miss you a lot. They like you. Uh, they miss you. They like you, and they see you as a future girlfriend or boyfriend. But there's a lot of mutual energy between the two of you um i'm ho i'm also hearing they want to be understood okay the sun card right now this person scorpio if the, if you're dealing with an aries a leo sagittarius sun moon and venus um they're not happy talking or they're not in the mood to talk um they're needing time they're misunderstood so right now let them be um let them be they'll they'll come around because you know two of sword two two of swords in reverse two of cups for sure this person likes you or loves you or miss you so if they're not in the mood or they're not talking to you it will you know it will it will go away like it they'll come around i'm really i'm seeing yeah they're, they will come around so let them cool off maybe they're not in the mood something that you and this person fight off they're just letting the fire, the bad fire, cools down and they will come around. I mean, they cannot be upset with you, Scorpio, forever because of the Two of Cups. Okay? So chill. Have some chill pill because this person will come around. And I see you smiling because I see them surrendering and calling and texting you. And then the next reading is that if you're dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, what is the message? Scorpio dealing with a fellow water sign, what is the message? The hangman, the queen of swords, 
the death card. Hmm. The hangman, the queen of swords, the death card, they feel like you're acting spoiled. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you are acting like a bitch or spoiled or you are your drama or um, you're thinking you're a drama, you're acting spoiled, you're acting immature, but they still love you anyway, you know, you know, they will take your shit, something like that. Um, this person likes you, love you in your worst, so they won't just go away. It is, it's your person, so good or bad, they will take you, whatever it is. I mean, they need to suck it up. Whatever it is, you're in, you're not in the mood. One of you is not in the mood, and they are aware that this is just a stage of, um, this is just a drama stage. It will go away. They will suck it up. Whatever your mood is, they will take it in, and they will be around. The last reading is if you're Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, the Moon card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. They miss you. Okay. If you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They miss you big time. They don't like the idea of you and them fighting. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. They don't like the idea of you and they miss you. They don't like the part that you and them are disconnected, break up, or you're fighting. They miss you. They feel like Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. They will lose that you've been a part of their life. Like you are something to do with. They don't want you to fight or to stay longer distance to one another because um, they've invested a lot and they don't want to waste the investment. They want to invest more. Okay, they want to invest more towards you, but how can they do that if you fight or you are disconnection? They want to put forward more of them towards you. I think there would be a communication coming soon. For some of you, I see this person crying, but they're still interested with you and they would like to put more and more effort and investment uh, towards you. So this is you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you like the reading. If you do. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. And um, what else? And if you are interested to follow my other channel, um, it's Sunshine TV. We have already launched other YouTube video for the Scorpio sign. If you would like to access that or pick up more intuitive message, I put down the description bo box below the link for Feb 2021. Um, the, the videos that I have uploaded in Sunshine TV in the other main channel it includes love and um, it, in it includes general situationship, okay? So this is you, Scorpio. Thanks again, and I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.